Hey there, Wall Street winners. It is Saturday, October the 11th, obviously a non-trading day. And we're in a bit of a data drought with the U.S. government in shutdown mode and not likely to see a resolution to this, I don't think, until at least early November. I think we're in the early, early days, uh, about 10 days in at this point. We saw the markets correct significantly on Friday after Donald Trump posted about his potential 100% increase in tariffs on Chinese goods and maybe no longer a requirement or a need to meet with the president of China and discuss trade, which is a very short-term view of the world. That said, we are in for a ton of data this week because we have earnings coming this week, starting with the big financials. So we had Delta Airlines out last week, um, one of the first to release, and the earnings were positive, and that was a good sign for things to come. We have big names coming out this week. So some of those reporting this week, Morgan Stanley coming out in four days and reporting. We've got Goldman reporting in three days, which would be Tuesday, Morgan Stanley, Wednesday, and Gold, uh, sorry, JP Morgan Chase in three days as well. So that's a big name. Then we've got Bank of America as well in four days. So it'll be interesting to keep an eye on these and see what comes out in terms of earnings. I'm expecting they're going to be very positive. Now, the one gotcha here is the first brand's bankruptcy. That was the auto supplier in the U.S. based in Ohio that has declared bankruptcy last week. And how that could affect financials is um, companies like Jefferies, which isn't in my list, um, are affected. And so are other private um, private private, not equity, but um, private debt sellers. So uh, a lot of private capital companies that were invested in or providing financing short or long term to first brands could have exposure. I don't believe we're going to see that with the likes of Goldman, Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan, but I would be cautious with some of the regional banks and some of the other players uh, who may have exposure and would be writing off likely hundreds of millions of dollars in loan losses if they do have exposure to first brands. Good luck in your trades this week. If you like the videos, hit the like and subscribe button.